U.S. Army Engineer Research and Development Center's Geotechnical and Structures Laboratory successfully completed a field demonstration of foam backfield technology at the Silver Flag Exercise Site on Tyndall Air Force Base, Florida. Erdick evaluated 10 airmen from the U.S. Air Force Prime Base Engineer Emergency Force using the in-house developed dispensing equipment and improved repair procedures. I've always uh, feel passionate about art and creating new things, that's kind of my thing, and um, I've always loved math. Back when I was in high school, looking for the discipline that could combine both of my passions, uh, engineering was the perfect fit. I like working for Erdic. You're only limited by your imagination. The objective of the rig that we built for this project is to deliver polyurethane foam into an open crater to do crater repair on uh, damaged runways. Polyurethane foam brings two major advantages for rapidly repairing airfields. It can be applied directly into a crater and it rises and sets uh, within 20 minutes. It expands to six times its original volume. Uh, the second advantage is that it provides a logistical advantage. It reduces the amount of material that has to be carried or deployed somewhere else uh, for crater repair. Once the foam is completely dispensed, they move to the next crater and we wait until the foam sets. So two 250 totes like we have behind us um, are enough to provide 15 cubic yards of backfill. 4,500 pounds of material replaces 30,000 pounds of soil backfill. Once the foam is completely set, we check on the depth of the cap that is left and we bring the volumetric mixer and we pour rapid set concrete on top of it. And with the volumetric mixer allows us to mix water in the dry concrete material in an auger right before placement. Basically it's a 10 inch cap of concrete that we have to put in. We're going to have five different craters that they're going to come and repair. Basically, they're going to come and, and do the, the entire ADR process, actually use the technology, put it in place, and not only that, but also give us feedback on what they think about the technology and what can be improved, and they're part of the process. All right. That's going to help us further improve the technology for the final evaluation. If this is something that the Air Force does use in the near future, I, I see how it will be beneficial. Save time, money, and uh, alleviate bodies so they can help with the mission elsewhere. After the final crater is finished, and after two hours of cure of the rapid set concrete, we simulate the traffic of an F-15 fighter aircraft. We put up to 500 passes uh, of the F-15, and that would be the threshold for ADR. And we traffic it until failure, basically. Erdic is in the forefront of innovation. We actually take technologies that are available and we kind of adjust them to satisfy the military's need. This project demonstrated the efficiency that the polyurethane foam technology brings into meeting rapid airfield damage repair requirements. For the Army Corps of Engineers, I'm Vince Muzan.